is part of feeling good and how you approach the day. This is my father's hat. I think it's from the, from the 30s. It's a little large and I put some plastic inside and then it fits me. <laughs> Do you wear your rings every day? Your same rings? Yeah, my grandchild, she to see, always wants, see, wants to see Nona's scary rings. <laughs> my husband gave them to me and um, these two I designed when I bought the farm in America. I had the idea of having little twigs from the woods as rings. Mm -hmm. And these we found in Venice and he gave them to me. And of course it reminds you every day of the end. Everybody has its end, everything is a beginning and an end. So why do you love ankle boots? Why I love ankle boots because it's nicer for my legs. This has a bit of a stripe and it has also a bit of a check on it. And underneath the tiger and this is the check. So I kind of, I like that idea. This is from um, an artist in Munich and it is, the material is, it's, it's from now and the material is Something like Bacalli. Yeah, I think, you know, you look at the weather and then you look at what you have to do. Do I have to run somewhere? Do I, you know, will I run through the park and wear flat shoes? Will I end up at the park at a, a, a very chic restaurant and have lunch there? And so I put other shoes in a bag and run through the park and put the shoes on and the other one in the back and enter the restaurant. And then here, of course, I love, it is completely <coughs> asymmetric. <coughs> it has this, you know, I, you know, it's not correct, mm -hmm. although it comes from, you know, a correct jacket, but it has this funny kind of pulls. So it gives it something romantic. I think about, is this something I would like to add to my life and to my wardrobe and to my days? And it ends up being part of me. And, and I think when you choose like that, at least for me, it's always timeless. I, like, I have things I have since 20 years and I still love them because I bought with that thing in mind that I might, that I want to love. Yeah. Them. So when so you started with the buttons, I found, I saw these buttons at a little, at a little antique store and I saw this fabric and then I remembered the buttons and then, and then I designed this little frock and I like Edwardian clothes and you know this is um, this is a little bit like a peacock can, can you know can make a real appearance and then can, it can be you can do this with it what do you think because it suits my body you know it I'm I'm not a voluptuous curved person but I have good features here it's slender here so you have to kind of I think you have to kind of know your body what to emphasize. Everybody is beautiful. It just if you just totally wear the completely wrong thing, it can be a little not so good. So I'll go around. I find this fabric. This is beautiful. I like this dark red. So I begin with, and then you know this. I see this and say, oh, "This is you." All you can do for that situation of slight fear and uncertainty. You prepare yourself as good as you can for yourself, you know. How do I feel if I approach that gallery talking about my art, which is so hard, right? Or my book, you know, I go to somebody who should, I want to be published by, and, you know, I have a certain appearance. You might overwhelm them and they don't like you, or you they're totally enchanted by the moment you come in and say, where did you get this and how did you do this and why, you know, you look so da-da-da.